something to boast about, something that makes them proud. Every bird has its own particular song. Some boast about their ancestry, some boast about their physical strength, some about their wealth. Sadly, many people boast about their rather shameful acts. I remember being on a train and listening to young men boasting about who had drunk the most at a recent party. What about St. Paul the Apostle? He had lots of things to boast about. Circumcised the eighth day on the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, concerning the law of Pharisee, concerning the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. St. Paul could also boast about his apostolic labours, his sufferings for Christ, the divine revelations he had received. Yet, he chooses to boast about the cross of Christ. God forbid that I should glory, say, in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, as we hear in the official reading today. St. Augustine says, The Apostle might well have gloried in the wisdom of Christ, or his majesty, or his power, but it was the cross he specified. The philosopher's shame is the Apostle's boast. He glories in his Lord. What Lord? Christ crucified. In him, humility and majesty, weakness and power, life and death are perfectly joined together. St. John Chrysostom adds, in the cross, the very thing that is brought, thought to be the most shameful, and what is the boast of the cross? It's that the Christ the Lord took on the form of a slave for my sake and suffered what he suffered for me. The slave, the despised and ignorant slave. Let us then not be ashamed of his unspeakable tenderness. He was not ashamed of being crucified for our sake. How can we be ashamed to confess his immeasurable kindness? What about us, dear brothers and sisters? What are we proud of? What do we boast of? Our money? Our ethnic origin? But do we boast on the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ? I hope we all do. In order to do so, we must first of all make the sign of the cross properly. I was very disappointed once when I saw godparents at a baptism crossing themselves as Roman Catholics do. I'll tell you another story. Someone complained to a modern saint that though he does the sign of the cross many times each day, he's still afraid to walk alone at night. So the saint asked him to make the sign of the cross in front of him, and he said that the way he crossed himself, he should not be expecting any blessings. And if we really do wish to boast on the cross of the Lord, we must be able to repeat the words of St. Paul we heard today. By the cross, the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. A Christian cannot serve two masters. We cannot be both friends of God and friends of the world. St. James the Apostle is very plain. Knowing not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. St. Paul says, the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. The world is dead to me, I do not care what the world thinks about me. They laugh at me because I am not joining in their evil deeds, but I would not care less, because if I still please men, I would not be a servant of Christ. May Christ our God, who died on the cross for our salvation and rose from the dead, Remove the desire for even a tiny taste of worldliness from within us and save us through the power of his precious and life-giving cross. I have spoken these two words today in preparation for the great feast of the exaltation of the cross, which we will celebrate on Thursday. If you are able, please come to church uh, on Thursday, sorry, on Wednesday, Wednesday the 14th, um, to venerate the cross which is the symbol of our faith and of victory over the power of evil. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us.